All right, everybody. I just want to do this quick video for you all to easily determine whether or not your fig tree is dead or alive. Um, I have a friend's uh, fig tree here that he kind of pulled up uh, from his mother trees at the base and uh, he got some roots with them and he put them in this pot and I don't remember exactly when he did this but uh, he was asking me if the the trees are alive and if they're gonna grow and uh, I looked at them immediately and said no <laughs> they're not gonna grow because you could tell even from a distance that the branches here are dead and they're dried up and they've been dried up for a long time. Um, the wood here is pretty thin and as a result there isn't a whole lot of moisture in there and uh, putting this in a dry environment with very little root mass it just spells disaster. Um, so the, everything above the soil is dead and now I wonder if there's any buds below the soil because if there is roots attached to these which I can tell that there is at least on one of them that he may actually have something below the soil that is alive and this one here is a no it's completely dead um, and you can easily tell we actually have some success look at that I actually noticed one over there but that's alive but uh, you guys can very easily tell but the bottom is rotted the barks coming off and it's very easily broken like that now if I did the scratch test at the top it's dead it's not alive um, there's no green it's not a bright green this is basically I did the scratch test earlier here this is a dead very dead tree and it's you know I mean it's not very difficult to tell but um, let's see if there's other ones here have some decent roots on them and have a bud that's coming up. This guy here actually is alive, uh, but there's no roots and the bottom is rotting. So you can tell, you can tell here that uh, the bottom here is rotting. This is coming off. Um, up here, from this point upwards, this is all dead because this is you know basically just completely dried out but in this middle point here there's actually some life this is actually alive and if I were to do the scratch test and show it to you you will see a very faint green it's on its way out guys but there is some green there and that is alive and uh, what I could do is probably very unsuccessfully graft this little inch or so of growth but to be honest with you this isn't going to root this isn't going to live it's on its way out not good now we have a third one here that actually does have some roots to it and it's budding out so the best scenario for this tree is actually to up pot this and it could be saved so i'm going to put the soil back in here and we're going to put this at the appropriate height and i want to show you actually you can tell how it's alive because you can very easily see first off there's roots the roots are not very healthy but there is buds coming out there is some growth it's a good sign it's a very good sign there is a chance that this will live so we're going to stick this back in the soil at the appropriate height and he is going to I'll take care of this in the meantime, and then he is going to take care of this when I give it back to him. And we're just burying the roots, but uh, what, I would, what I would like to do is not just bury the roots, um, but also I have to keep these buds that are popping out above the soil. That's going to really help make them more active and grow. Um, Cause if they're below the soil, there's not as much sun, even though there's not a whole lot of photosynthesis going on, 
there is some photosynthesis going on um, at these buds. So if I can get the sun to hit these buds, there actually is some decent activity. And uh, yeah, so this is a, at least, I would say, maybe a 35% chance of survival. Um, and for this to actually root out, it's not looking good, but there is a chance. And uh, I think that's enough for my friend who really wants a copy of his own fig tree um, to be planted at a different location of where he lives. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'd also recommend this dead stuff up here. We can cut this off with some Pering shears, but it's really not the end of the world if you left it on. Um, eventually, you will cut it off when one of these branches starts growing quite vigorously, if one of the branches grows quite vigorously. But uh, that's it. That's all she wrote. We gave it a little bit of better soil here, I guess. He had it in 100% um, peat moss. And I mixed in some different things like uh, some cow manure and some organic fertilizer and different um, better well-draining soil here. So maybe there's a better shot with this. I want to thank you guys for watching. That's sort of what you have to do to diagnose your plant. You know, is my fig tree dead? Well, uh, you know, you're going to find out when you find out what's underneath the soil. You really will find out. You just have to be careful. You don't want to break anything. You don't want to be yanking the stuff out. You saw how I took it out of the pot. I turned it upside down and I just slid it right out. And then I basically crumbled the soil away from the roots. And if you guys do all that, you'll be all right. So, uh, yeah, check us out, guys, on Fig Boss. That's our blog, Facebook and Instagram. We'll see everybody soon. Take care.